Hey, grace and peace to you. My name is Paul Desay. It's good to be with you today on this Wednesday for our weekly uh, grace and peace update and devotion. Uh, hey, I missed you last week. I, I'm so sorry I wasn't with you. We had just a crazy couple weeks as a family, and thank you for the prayers and support. Uh, everybody is healthy, um, and it's good to be back with you all. So, uh, say today we have a devotion and update of a bunch of things going on here at Sandy Hook UMC. But first, let's do this devotion. Uh, I'm not really sure what the title of it is, uh, but maybe something like McChurch versus Slow Church, something to that extent. Uh, but here's this concept here. We live in a world of addiction to speed. We have a need for speed. We, we are a part of the cult of speed as philosophers uh, talk about. The, the time that we are a part of is this acceleration. It seems like things are getting faster and faster. We're getting busier and busier. And there's this uh, kind of a, an admiration of efficiency. And oftentimes the church kind of gets caught up in a lot of that um, speed, uh, the need for speed. Uh, we desire quick fixes. We desire to snap our fingers and have our food delivered to us uh, like DoorDash. We, we love convenience. We love um, quick fixes, right? And so oftentimes the church can kind of end up copying that efficient uh, efficiency model of McDonald's. But really, when you take a look at the scriptures, uh, we, we really don't see that kind of philosophy. We see, a, we see patience, and, and God uh, delivers things on his time versus us trying to discover the formula or you know, try to approach uh, ministry from that perspective. In fact, if you take a look at what we are uh, doing here at Sandy Hook, uh, what our vision is, it's very much a slow church model. We are, instead of devoting ourselves to quick fixes, we're investing in relationships, and relationships take a lot of time. Uh, there is a very popular passage of scripture called the Love Chapter. Uh, it's 1 Corinthians chapter 13. We read it at weddings often, but it's not about weddings. It's about the church. And the church is to, to model or to, to live in the example of Christ's love, God's love. Uh, and so the church is to be, you know, love is patient, love is kind, and, and model that kind of love and live into that love. Uh, that word patient is, is super important. Love is patient. And uh, where do we get that from? Uh, we, we get that idea because God is patient. Um, in the Old Testament, they use this uh, word that, that could be best translated as long-suffering. God is long-suffering. And in the fruit of the Spirit, we translate uh, um, uh, the fruit of the Spirit as love, joy, peace, patience. But that word patience is, could be best described or translated as long-suffering. So we are be a people that practice patience because our God is patient to be long-suffering because our God is long-suffering. We join in with him in the suffering of the brokenness of the world, and through that long-suffering, there is redemption. So, uh, yeah, that's not great, is it? Because I'm not patient. And the church isn't very patient either. I had somebody come to me, uh, a couple months ago and said, Pastor, when are we going to fill up this sanctuary again? You know, we, want, we want quick results. Uh, but let me be real and honest and say, hey, you know what? Um, I don't know. I think we have to be patient. I think we need to practice patience. And I think we need to invest in the right things, like relationships. We need to love our neighbor as we love ourselves. We need to invest in those relationships, even if it takes days, weeks, months, years, and decades, right? Uh, and know that fruit will come, uh, but it isn't going to be going through a drive through It's going to be that old-fashioned way of, you know, a seed in the ground breaking open and, and being watered and grow into a plant, and that seed falls and grows into another plant, and it grows into it a tree and then a forest, right? Um, you know, it's that, it's that idea 
of slow growth. So that's our future. And that requires us to be very patient. So I had a pastor tell me a while back, it takes seven years to change the culture of a church. Actually, I should rephrase it. It takes seven years to begin to change the culture of a church. Um, All of this that we're doing here at Sandy Hook is is that slow church mentality. Um, We're not rushing into anything. We're making slow change, understanding by investing in the right things. uh, It's going to bring the right fruit. So... Be patient with me, my friends. We're going to see the fruit of God and the fruit of the Spirit. Uh, so let's practice long-suffering because our God is a, a God who is patient with us. And so let us be patient with each other and uh, we will see We will see the fruit. All right, enough babbling from this pastor. Uh, I'm going to go take a look at Judy's list of announcements here of things that are coming up. We have um vacation bible school coming up on june 1st 2nd and 3rd and super excited in this we are partnering with two other churches to do a community vacation bible school uh we're partnering with uh first lutheran church as well as petersville umc and uh i'm I'm really excited about uh this this uh partnership uh the first night june 1st which is a thursday evening um the the it's going to be in the community at millrace park and so we're going to you know, have this opportunity to be in the community. The second night is at First Lutheran, which is Friday night. And then on Saturday afternoon, it's at Sandy Hook. So really excited about that. Uh, We need volunteers, of course. So please let me see uh, Melissa, if you'd like to help out with our Vacation Bible School. Um, This coming Saturday, we're having another one of those dying to donate at Panera uh, here on this side of town. Um, So uh, there is... Uh, coupon in the newsletter. There's a coupon um, uh, as well as the at the Welcome Center. So if you want to stop by and pick one of those up, shh, dine at Panera on Saturday and 20% of the proceeds goes to our youth group. Uh, this coming Saturday evening, we're going to have family movie night uh, outside. It's the movie Bad Guys. I have not seen it. It's an animated film by DreamsWorks. It looks fantastic. It looks funny. I've heard great things, so we'll do that outside. Movie starts right at 8.30, uh, and uh, I invite you to join us. I might th- be there for a few minutes of it to, um, uh, the, to ch- check out the beginning of the movie. It'll be exciting, and, of course, I've got to get some popcorn. Uh, so bring chairs and, and come out for that. Uh, prayer, Praise, and Pickleball is back. Starts on Wednesday, uh, May 31st. Runs through um, uh, June and July. And that's at 6.30 here at the church. Uh, so invite your friends, uh, invite your neighbors, and play some pickleball. Grad Sunday is coming up on Sunday, June 11th. So if you know of anyone that is reaching the milestones of graduating from uh, elementary, junior high, senior high, or college, please contact the office. Let Judy know in a picture and a bio so we can celebrate on June the 11th. Uh, there is a new book, Nook. Uh, that's in the choir room. And a big thank you to many of the people that put that together. Sean McAllister, Tim Kessel, Ted Edru, John Stabenheim, and of course, a big shout out to the leader of the project, Maxine, uh, for putting that all together. Uh, So you can stop by the choir room and see that little book nook, check out a book. Um, Big thank you to our trustees who always do an amazing job fixing pipes and hauling away trash and et cetera. We appreciate our trustees for all their hard work that they do. Uh, Some other upcoming um, dates. This coming Sunday is Ascension Sunday. The Sunday after that is Pentecost, uh, May the 28th. The Sunday after that is Trinity Sunday. That's June the 4th. And we begin a four-week series called Be Still uh, from uh, the Psalms, Be Still and Know. So we're going to talk about slowing down. Um, hey, appropriate for the devotion. Yeah, pretty cool. Um, then on June the 18th is Father's Day, and we're doing a brunch uh, in between the two services. It's 9.45. Um, and then July 9th is our annual outdoor service, which is an 11 a.m. combined service with picnic to follow. Uh, Back to School Bash is Saturday, August the 5th. So a lot of cool stuff happening. Please make sure to check out the newsletter for more info. My time is up. Have a great week, everybody. Grace and peace to you.